You realize the greatest show that was ever made that I, I mean, I must have watched at least 10 times. And funny because I didn't start watching. I made fun of this show and I really thought it was fucking gay because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just seeing a guy just look gay. But anyway, I probably watched it like 10 times, but I'm watching it. And when they were going to kill Walter, come on, lady, what are you doing? You got to watch what the fuck you're doing. Go! God! Anyway, when they were going to kill Walter in the lab, he took his phone out. There is no way a veteran police officer like Mike, who this and that, there was no way he would allow him to have that phone in his hand. He could have called 911. So there's no way that would have happened. None. None. It wouldn't have happened. But hey, I'm glad it happened because, you know, it made the show better. And secondly, Marie is responsible for Walter's arrest when you think about it. Everyone thought, including myself, thought that, you know, Marie being a klepto was just stupid. Why'd they have that in there? But the reason they had that in there was because the dude did uh, Hank a favor. And that's why he goes, look, I'm a cop, beat cop. I did you a favor and I'm hoping you can do me a favor. That's why Hank reopened the Gail Bedecker investigation right there. That's why. Well, that's not why he reopened it. That's, that's how he got the case in the first place. So Marie was actually responsible for Walter uh, White's capture. Well, whatever. But that show is unbelievable. I mean, you think about it. Even the fucking airplane wreck, whatever. I was thinking, what the fuck was that all about? You know, when you're watching the first time. But even that, everything they did in that show was perfectly illustrated. That was better than... You, I mean, you get a movie about an airplane crash. The Breaking Bad one was better. I can't find a single flaw in the show. It was just great. And I wish I can go take a pill right now and just lose my mind for like a week so I can watch it again. But I mean, I can still enjoy it and watch it. I mean, I've seen it like 10 times. I always start from like the second season on, like maybe the third or fourth episode or something. I never, like the first season, I remember first watching it. I was kind of like the first episode, I was like, eh, second, third. I was kind of skeptical. A lot of people probably say, ah, fuck the show after that. Because the first couple episodes, you're like, I don't know about this. But then it just gets good. And it gets it's, it gets great. My favorite character in those show, obviously Walter White, but um, Gus Fring, without a doubt. I liked them all. Uncle Jack had me rolling. You could do better. You could do better. It was all. Uh, it was just a great show. And um, like I say, oh, and hit another thing too. If Hank was running a meth operation to have a Walter cook for him, this is a flaw in Walter's uh, video. Why would Hank need um, Walter to pay for his medical bills? You know what I'm saying? There's just a few minute flaws that were in it. Other than that, it was unbelievable writing. It was un- it was unfucking believable. Greatest show I've ever seen, without a doubt. Nothing compares to it. I remember watching Ozark. People said Ozark's good. First season was good. Second season just became over the top, over the fucking top. This that they did this. Fuck that. Breaking Bad, and I wish they would, uh, I wish they, um, Better Call Saul was good, but now it's getting gay, but I wish they would revive Breaking Bad somehow, you know, look, Walter didn't die, he's alive, he, he, he did 10 years in prison, whatever, he's out, but I don't know what they can do with his life, you know, he did 10 years, what's he gonna do, start cooking meth again, there's no fucking way they'll be watching the shit out of him, but you know what I'm saying, I just wanna watch it again, and again, that whole fucking world that Walter White was in. Pinkman. I love that world. I love it. If I had, if I was a millionaire, billionaire, whatever, I would buy that house uh, they lived in. I would, I swear to God. I'm just sitting back thinking about the show, how great it was. I've And I try getting people to watch it. I try to get my brother to watch it. Nah. I remember my boy, he tried to get me to watch it. I kept refusing. But then I started watching it. I remember the first time I started watching it. I watched like three episodes, came home from work the next day, watched like five or six, and I was hooked. I, I didn't go to work for like two days. I just kept watching them. Now, I couldn't even imagine watching Breaking Bad during its fucking runtime. You'd have to wait a whole fucking year to see what happened, all this bullshit. You know, like, oh, that'd drive me crazy. Yeah, that was unbelievable. I've never watched the show when I looked forward to like Breaking Bad. The closest I think I could come to was uh, maybe... 
Better Call Saul, because Better Call Saul was good at, now it's just, now it's getting pathetic. But anyway, a little nostalgia here, Breaking Bad, how great it was. And I just want you guys to know that my life is better than yours, obviously. I'm better looking than you, obviously. <laughs> I'm a genius, obviously. Uh, my puppets, see, I don't have haters, I have puppets. Who are, my puppets are basically scorned ex-fans that are upset about the direction my channel went in, whatever, and they just feel betrayed by me, whatever. So my puppets will dance, they'll continue to dance. So, yeah, Breaking Bad was... Yeah, that, that Marie thing, you know, the klepto thing, I remember. I was like, what the, what's that even in here for? Well, that was in there, so they had a platform to give the Gail Bedecker case to Hank. And then Walter White, the best part, well, I like this part when he's like, well, the genius is no genius at all. I think he's just some rogue copycat. Then he reopened the case. Walter White, what a beast. It's funny, though, because Walter actually did transition from a fucking nerd into a fucking beast. I think my favorite character was Gus Fring. He was so smooth in that show. He was. Least favorite character. Maybe Ted Beneke. I didn't like Ted Beneke. He was a little fucking bitch. Marie was uh, annoying. So was Skyler. And then Skyler fell madly back in love with Walter after she realized what a beast he was. I liked Uncle Jack. He was a beast. Jesse Pinkman became a bitch. He did. So if I was, uh, I, here's what I'd say if I was Vince Gilligan. Come over some ideas. Walter never died. He went to the prison for eight years, whatever. He, he actually went to, he, he talked, he became, he told him where Hank's body is. He told him all this information, what was going on. They gave him like 10 years. He served eight. Now he's out. What's he going to do? Let's just feed, see what his life entails. That's what I'd like to see. I mean, let's be honest about it. Even if it fucking backfires, which it probably won't, because I don't see how it could. Who gives a fuck? You still had the six greatest or five greatest episode seasons ever. You had it. I mean, it's not a show anyway. Yeah, it is a Game of fucking Thrones. I'm sorry. No one, as people say you got to watch it. I, I have no interest to watch it. And you say, you had no interest to watch Breaking Bad. I don't give a fuck about, what do you call that shit? Game of Thrones. I'm not in the chess piece. Whatever you fucking call it. Medieval shit. I wouldn't watch about Better Call Saul either, even after I watched Breaking Bad. But then someone said, it's just like Breaking Bad. And I did. It was great. And I don't see how much more time Better Call Saul can go on because right now they're just, it ain't even that good. It's, you know, so. I think they should make next year the final season and maybe do like 10 more episodes. Maybe make it instead of like an eight episode season, maybe like a 12 episode or something like that. Anyway, this is about the most normal cordial video you heard from me. I'm going to get my uh, Mookie, or not Mookie, uh, Chinky, a cat bed because now Chinky's too cool for her to be outside, so. She sleeps on the fucking cement in the fucking... Um, I'll buy her it and she won't use it. It's that simple. Am I buttered? Yes. I'm buttered. I'm always buttered. I'm legally allowed to be buttered, if you know what I mean. <laughs>